today is a good day, well, not to die, but <laughs> to read Star Trek. I'm really excited today to review Star Trek Adventures, The Klingon Empire with Matt. Uh, this is a, not just a source book, it's a core rule book. By, again, by Modifius Games. We're gonna talk a little bit about the rules. We're gonna talk a little bit about, about what uh, source material inside, like the core rule book for Star Trek adventures. Uh, this is at least 300 plus pages of, of information, a lot of information. You could take out the rules section of it, and this could be like the official Klingon handbook for our Star Trek fans. The idea behind this book is um, all the players can play Klingons. So this is another way to get into Star Trek. So um, instead of getting the core book and you know playing in Starfleet or something else, you can you can skip all that and just go straight in to play Klingons. Buy this book, it's got the rules, it's got everything you need to play Klingons. It's got a history all the way from you know the very beginning prehistory and, and then all the way up through the different series. They got a little explanation for the Klingons in the original series without the bumpy foreheads. The game takes place in the next generation era, right at the beginning of Voyager, which I believe is the default setting for Star uh, Star Trek Adventures. So right at that time, Voyager's just been reported. So you've got information on politics, you've got the houses, main houses, minor houses, how that all works. You get the Klingon perspective on the galaxy, all the different races. You've got lots of information on Klingon culture, their their rituals, their religion, um, their myths, their relics. You know, the sort of Kalis. You've got all lots of information on the kind of weirdly named Klingon Defense Force. <laughs> um, so you talk about the history. Uh, you've got. You've got organization, how it's all set up. It, uh, you've got what the rank, the different ranks are, what training is like, what your different duties would be aboard the ship. You've got a chapter on Klingon technology, of course, their ships, their weapons, their medical technology, all the other technology. You've got lots of information on your cloaking devices. You've got, you've got a section on the worlds of the Empire and different places you can go in the Empire, the, the different... Um, neutral zone and you know the different borders with romulans and, and everything you've got a great section on gming the game it talks about how you write missions and encounters how to gm character creation so the, the game master's role in character creation for the players how to work with that and how to incorporate that in your story how to write stories that focus on different types of characters they, of course, have information on playing in the different eras. So it also talks about different styles you can play. You can, uh, you, kind of the default is you're going to be members of a crew of a warbird, but you can also work on space stations or planet side. You know, there's also the um, officer exchange program. You remember when uh, Riker went to uh, work on a Klingon ship and they sent the Klingon over? Yeah. Yeah. So I just rewatched that episode uh, two nights ago. <laughs> yeah. So they've got information. You can you can work something up there. Um, speaking of episodes, they have a great little sidebar on essential Klingon viewing. So it gives you the episodes that you should watch and the movies you should watch to get an idea of the Klingons before you play the game, which which I thought was really useful and really helpful. Even for a even for a long time Trekkie, there's a lot of episodes. So. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah. nice, nice to have a list you can check them all off. You go, oh, I remember that one, or I should watch that one. So that's that's great stuff. Um, there are over a dozen mission seeds, which are just little summaries of uh, missions that you can expand into stories for your gaming group. And then there's an introduction adventure. So you know all the details are in there. It's a, it's a great little adventure where you're going to look for a um, you're rescuing a, a lost. Klingon opera singer <laughs> and uh, you have to go find them there's there's all sorts of there's some time paradoxes and lots of combats and uh, some some religious aspects the scenario is set up to introduce the players to them, each other so they're you know they're new officers on a ship so you can introduce each other and the end of the adventure points directly towards the shackles in expanse which is um, Odysseus's um, shared campaign world 
So after all this wonderful information, the book ends with a, um, a little introduction to Klingonese. So you get all those great, great Klingon words. <laughs> so um, settings wise, as you said, take out the rules. This is your encyclopedia of Klingon. It's got everything you need and uh, it's a really great resource if you're running a game, Star Trek game, for all Klingons, or even if you're just running a game with Klingons. There's a lot of the same rules in the, in the other book as is with the Klingon core book, but it's the, the difference is uh, perspective. Uh, everything explained through the Klingon perspective, and I see why a core book was was necessary because you couldn't do like a, a quick source book. There's so much explanation on culture and religion and and just the lifestyle of the Klingon that that each rule set is has to be re-explained again um, through that lens. There is uh, uh, some some differences. Uh, reputation is now a factor. Um, as you know, Klingons live and die for honor and you uh, when you when you're role playing uh, and when you're, you're at the end of the adventure or doing the adventure, if your reputation is harmed in any way, that could really have a big effect on your character. There are some advanced rules. Uh, they explain a little bit about the idea of like challenges, where there are like tasks. Uh, like instead of having one task to try to uh, um, accomplish, uh, there might be a multiple tasks. It gets a little gets a little complicated here, depending on what the situation is. But it's 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 available if you play the game long enough and, very, and become very comfortable with the rules. If you've read the first core book, the, the regular Star Trek Adventures core book, uh, this, will, this will be a breeze. In fact, I feel like they've, when it comes to design and the way the book is designed and, and the chapters are laid out, I think it's much easier than the last book. I guess I think they had a chance to kind of look back at it and fix certain things. So certain information is much easier to find, certain information is much better uh, uh, laid out for you. Again, it's it's all, Klingons, you know, ships. Um, yep. They have a great, great section about dealing with NPCs and, and mm -hmm. you know, um, it's, it's very interesting seeing stats that so you could, you could fight other Starfleet officers. I thought that was interesting. Um, Card Cardassians, uh, other Klingons, um, uh, Borg. It's, 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 it's pretty much standalone. Um, having the the Alpha and Beta Quadrant Sourcebooks would be a great help, you know. But this alone, you know, this book alone is enough for. Um, uh, for your Klingon adventures. And, and I personally am very excited because Klingon is probably the one thing I want to, if I were to play Star Trek, that's probably the thing I want to uh, play most of the time. Um, so the fact that they released a book like this, I was like, I was, I was very impressed. I was very happy that this is out. All right, everyone. Thank you very much for watching and uh, have a great day. Good luck.